G'day, I'd like to welcome you to the Visual Impact Image Expo. My name is Philip Trumbull. I'm uh, from Positive Camtech and we're the distributor of the Swiss Q Print uh, range of machinery. The machine that you can see here is called the Impala. Swiss Q Print currently make two models of machine, the Oryx and the Impala. And the main difference between the two is that the Oryx has a 512 nozzle print head and the Impala has a 1024 nozzle, basically meaning that the Impala has a print speed double that of the Oryx. Uh, one of the things about Swiss Q Print that makes them different to uh, the rest of the machines in the market is their philosophy, uh, as you'll see on the back wall, of one system for the future. The system is completely modular, so it doesn't matter uh, at what point you start. So you can start with a basic entry level machine with only four uh, print heads and four colors. And at any time you can add on options such as uh, light colors, uh, colors like orange, green or violet. Uh, you can add on varnish and white and primer. Uh, you can add on a roll-to-roll -roll system. Uh, all of these things can be added on at any time. One of the other options that sets it quite apart from the others is what we call the board option. And that's what you're seeing printing here at the moment. This allows us to print boards that are longer or larger than the table size, but still print them in a true flatbed mode. As you'll see quite soon, the, uh, the, sheet will, uh, the machine will get to the end of the printing table, uh, but the sheet will not have been uh, completed. So the machine, the Impala will automatically pick up the sheet, uh, index it forward with precision, and then continue printing. And this can happen for as many times as is required in order to complete the sheet. So whether it's a um, two meter wide by a four meter sheet, or a five meter sheet, or a six meter sheet, the machine can handle that, anything up to 100 kilos. Uh, even glass, large glass uh, pieces are able to be printed using the board option. We also have the roll to roll option, which allows us to print 2.5 meters wide flexible material. And it'll, the machine allows us to print that in two modes. One is a standard uh, printing mode where the media is moved after each pass. And another way is to combine flatbed and roll-to-roll -to -roll together. And this is great for heat sensitive or uh, materials that are easy to stretch. And basically what we're able to do is uh, something similar to the board option, we can print the flatbed table and then automatically index uh, as many times as is required on the roll uh, to complete the job. One of the things that uh, Swiss Q Print have uh, absolutely focused on is the precision uh, printing uh, to have the highest quality possible. And you'll, that's demonstrated by the samples that you can see at the show today. Some things that we have uh, that make it quite interesting are our varnish option, which allows us to uh, do a spot varnish, either to highlight an area of a print or by doing multiple passes to build that up so that you have a texture feel. We also have a primer that allows you to print onto hard to print substrates like glass, anodized aluminium and stainless steel. And that basically will lay down the primer only where the ink is required. Uh, so it doesn't change the feel of the material. As you'll see on the bed now, the print has now got to the end of its, uh, the area it's able to print. It's now going to index the sheet. So let's come around to the side. The vacuum bar that you can see here is lowered down and the vacuum is turned on so it is able to uh, have suction on the sheet. The flatbed table vacuum is then turned off and then reversed so we have a cushion of air that the sheet can slide along. And the machine will now automatically move the sheet to the new position, index it at the precise location that is required and then printing will continue as you'll see in just a moment. and printing continues. Now this mode that we're printing in at the moment, uh, it's around about 34 square meters per hour. The top speed of the Impala is 134 meters squared per hour. And uh, this allows you to, to print a very high speed for things like core flutes and banners. Uh, usually top speeds quoted by machinery manufacturers are speeds that are not usable. With the Swiss Q print, the 134, uh, what we call draft mode, is actually quite a usable mode for uh, a lot of different um, uh, signs or substrates. 